Hi everyone, Jo here and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm showcasing the new Catherine Puller release, the One Plus One. I will be playing with the new heart die and two new stamp sets. These stamp sets are Tie the Knot Sentiments and also his and her stamp sets with coordinating dies. Now, to kick this off, I'm going to also be playing with some Nouveau Mica Miss. I'm going to be adding some extra shimmer and shine to the already fabulous Catherine Puller inks Bellini and Coral Cabana. For the pink mist, I'm going to be using Turkish Rose. And for the coral type of mist, I'm going to be using the Pecan Peach. Now I've got some Ranger watercolor cardstock here. I love the bright white of this particular cardstock and the layering. I'm going to be making some kind of color wash water backgrounds. I've pressed on my Tim Holtz glass mat here some Catherine Puller ink. Now I started off with the Bellini. I then added some drops of the Marker Mist because it's so really, really shimmery. I only added some few drops. Now to make that more a little bit water soluble, I've just added some water with my spritzer. And I've just got a round um, brush here. I just picked up any brush from my big stash. <laughs> and I'm just going to do like a swiping technique. Have an ombre, leaving an ombre effect by going lighter hand. And plus the actual ink is becoming less on the actual brush. And I'm just adding a little bit of swipey detail there as I did want to have a kind of swipey effect. Um, I think I achieved it here. <laughs> you know, sometimes if you want it to be a little bit more um, watery type look, um, you can add a little bit more of the water spritzer on there. I put some little bit of water beforehand on each panel just so it's a little bit, um, man I can maneuver it more on the actual cardstock. The watercolor cardstock absorbs it really well and sometimes you just need that little bit of water for playing. Now that I put too much water on that panel and you can see when I dried it with my Wow Heat Embossing Tool, the Coral Cabana panel had some water splotches on the left. I wasn't too concerned. I felt like I still achieved that little bit organic watercolory type of look to my overall project. So, you know, I left it <laughs> and I wasn't going to repeat the process. So I am making two cards, same techniques, different type of layouts with the same background. So you can see the shimmer and shine. Now I have got the crackle mousse here. I die cut the hearts out. Now my mistake was I didn't use a shim on the top and my plates were super, super warped and used. So usually my method when I die cut is I have a nice clean clear plate on the top, especially with an open space type of die. Otherwise it presses and makes an impression. To cover it up, because I didn't want to actually uh, die cut it again, <laughs> I used the crackle mousse over the top. I sprinkled some Wow Sparkle this sparkle is called Your Carriage Awaits. Now, because the expand, like the crackle mousse was a little bit tacky, it was able to adhere. You will have some fall off and you'll just grab a brush and brush whatever fall off is left, but you will have some there still left on the actual heart. I heat embossed a whole heart with the Aztec glints. It's a very shimmery sheen type of glints and I thought it suited the actual Coral Cabana. Um, card very well. I've got some twine here um, that I'm just going to add some added accents. So for this one I'm going to just do a crossover feel and that's where I'm where it crosses over is where I'm going to place my hearts. And for the left panel I just do a cross over the top with a little bow which I don't show on screen. Um, now my tip with using twine is I tend to use sticky tape to secure it down and it gives me a little bit of wiggle room um, to adjust if necessary. And then once I'm happy with that, I will secure that down with so much 3D foam tape. It's not even funny. That thing ain't going to move. So here's my little pattern. Here's my little hearts and 
I was like, yep, yep, that's where I want it. I'm going to secure this down. So I have got a side folding white cardstock panel here and just placing the hearts. Now I'm crackling it because it's meant to crackle, see, so you can move it. Plus it actually tightens the whole heart shape. So I was happy for to add a little bit more crackle to that effect. I use a lot of foam mount tape, squares, sorry, on the heart and I was just securing that down. I did add foam squares behind that other heart just to let you know also um, I left that off screen but wanted to show that the crackle mousse heart I had added foam. Now this sentiment this is now from Tie the Knot Sentiments. I'm going to heat emboss these. I'm going to heat emboss them in metallic rich gold in wow embossing powders and I'm going to be using the wow ultra slow drying ink. Now I have a little bit of time to play if I decided to use another color. I thought I was going to use more an Aztec color um, and I thought the gold really tied in well because the WOW sparkles um, have like a little um, type of gold sheer iridescent glimmer to it. It worked in and tied in well with the metallic gold rich embossing powder. And I'm going to heat set that with my heat tool off and I'm going to snip the edges off so it fits perfectly on the page there. I just added foam tape where there wasn't twine so I kind of strategically placed the foam squares around it um, and that is my first card. My second card I die cut again with the hearts to create that hollow effect I left the inside die in and that's with craft cardstock. And I thought I'd use, I'd still use the little panel of what I did, um, use the crackle heart with, and then just added like. Once I added the foam tape on the sentiment and heat embossed it, I'm done for these two cards. I thought about adding extra sequins and bling, but it the sparkle crackle piece or hearts was enough of a wow factor for me and then the added heat embossing. I think I really like the more organic feel with that background, so I didn't really want to add any more elements to it. And that's my card creations for this new Catherine Puller One Plus One release. I hope you leave a comment. I'd love to hear um, what you have to say about my card creations. I will be making a second card creation as well. So I hope to see you pop back onto my channel and I've got some more creations over on my Instagram and blog. Now I do have affiliates linked into my, my description below and I hope you continue to support my little crafting adventure with Catherine Pooler. So thank you so much and I can't wait to read your comments. Take care.